Happy Flossmas, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. I'm sitting here in my office, just got to work, and just got through all of my emails that I had from last since last night, because I check my emails regularly on my phone because I get so many. And I so I'm now going to get ready and do um, some work stuff. So I got my morning coffee from Dunkin' Donuts today. It's black, as expected. And... Yeah, I figured I'd film here this morning, this this morning, and show you uh, where I have my my Riolis kits, the Owl and the Hedgehogs. They are now in my office above my desk. So when I have meetings, and I know there's going to be glare, but when I have meetings, I can have them in my background. That wall is going to continue getting more and more proliferated with cross stitch so as time goes on but with that I'm gonna check out for now I will check back in a little bit later and see how y'all are doing Hi everyone, how are you doing today? It is, I think I already did my intro because I filmed it earlier and I just like started recording and then wasn't even ready to go. So here we go. It's Monday. I was gonna say it's Wednesday, but it's only Monday. Happy Flossmas again. I hope you're all doing well. I'm just home from work. It's around 4.30. Oh my gosh, I went to the grocery store and Target and they were all packed. I'm so glad I'm done going out shopping this week because, you know, you would think for a pandemic people would be staying home, but I don't think they are. So anyways, I have all of my stuff for the rest of the week for the holiday and I'm ready to go. So this is going to be an interesting update because I don't have anything to update you on really. Uh... But I do have some mail that I want to show you that I'm really excited about. But first, let's go ahead and jump into my crafting for the last night and today. And I have very little to show you. So, I finished the washcloth, dishcloth, whatever you want to call cloth that I started last night. I used up the, re the remaining balance of the honeydew ball. And then I added on some yellow that I had left over. And it's so fulfilling and enjoyable to finish up a skein of yarn. So that yarn is completely done, the honeydew. I'm now working on some other scraps. So I finished up the yellow. And then I went ahead, because we were watching a movie last night, I went ahead and started a new dishcloth. And I used up the yellow. I used up the remaining balance of the a red that I had. I think this is pomegranate I think the yellow was called creme brulee I could be wrong and now I'm going into a blue so this is how much of the blue I have left I need to cut off my my tail this is how much of the blue I have left so that will be going into this dishcloth and then this is all this is all the cotton balls I have left. So I'm gonna try to use them up. I have two full skeins of dishy over on my couch that I'm not touching yet until I use up all of these somehow. So we'll see what happens. I also have this partial one from the 
the dishcloth that I just showed you yesterday. So, but I think I can still get another full dishcloth out of that, that skein there. So it's really enjoyable to like, as much as I love what a new skein of yarn looks like, it's also really <sighs> pleasing to use up that last remnants of some dish or some, some yarn. I feel the same way whenever it comes to like DMC or skeins of floss or whatever like that too. So that is what I am working on. So I just need to tie in the uh, stitch in this end from the dishcloth. I also learned how to do the, the weave in Steven in knitting. Many of you probably know that. It's a Stephen West thing. You can look it up on YouTube and he teaches you how to weave in your ends as you're going so you don't have to come back and stitch them in. So as you can see, I weaved in my ends. It's not pretty on the back side, at least with cotton. I think with other other yarns, it's a little bit less noticeable. But um, this way, at least, I don't have to worry about it. It's a dishcloth. It's going to be a coaster underneath one of my plants, most likely. So I'm not worried about what the this looks like right here. Because that's what you look like at, and it looks perfectly fine. So now I just have one end to weave in at the end. And down here, you can't even tell where I stitched that in here. So uh, I'm very pleased with that, that technique. I'm definitely going to be using that technique more often. Now, I don't know how, how well it stays hold. I hear it's a really good technique. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. So many of you are going to be like, what are you wearing, Gerald? And this is my uh, sweater vest that I made. I don't remember the name of the pattern. This is using the, the Nina's hand dyed yarn that uh, I talked about in previous episodes because I've already made a sweater out of her yarns and that's what I'm using for my, my shawl that I'm making. But I also used a little bit of knit picks just because I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough of the Nina's hand dye. This is a merino wool alpaca blend. And then I just added in some palette yarn. And then so I have that touch of gray at the bottom too. However, I do think that I'm going to cut this ribbing off and restitch it because I'm not happy with it. Because as you see, it rolls up. And so I think whenever I cast on that, sw the sweater, that I think whenever I cast it on, I my cast on was too tight. So I'm going to take that off just like you would do for an afterthought heel, uh, pick up the stitches, and then re-knit the ribbing. I have plenty of yarn in that color left over. So I've been talking about doing this for a month, for a year now, and I haven't done it yet. So I just need to like take a day and do it. It won't take me long at all to knit up. I just need to pick up the stitches. That's what I think is holding me back from doing that. But the, I really like this sweater. I wore it today. I got tons of compliments at work. So that's always enjoyable to hear whenever something you work really hard on uh, is people think it's nice. So. Anyways, that is all the progress I have. All I did was a little bit of knitting last night. I went to bed early last night. I got up, I went to work, and now I'm back home. So I'm hoping to get a lot of stuff done tonight. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I have a meeting to go to this evening. And then once I get home, that I'm going to sit down and focus on some crafting for the night. However, I do have some things that I got in the mail today and I'm really excited about them. So um, what this one I've been waiting on for over a month, two months, and it's only one of four patterns that I, kits that I ordered. The other three are on back order, but I'm really excited about that. So let me go ahead and show you this first. This is a brand new pant. Let me pull it, yeah, Perman. It's a brand new Perman kit. I, I'm looking forward to giving it a try. I don't know, I'm just on this animal kick right now, as you'll see. So part of that is because of the owl and the hedgehog that I framed up for work. And I thought that looked great on the wall. So I'm, I'm making that wall an animal wall as I, I, I think I already talked to you about this earlier in the earlier clip. 
but here is the kit that I ordered. This is the Perman Scandinavian Art Needlework. What is this called? Oh, I, I could just pull out the itemized packet. This is called the uh, Fan in Colors Cushion. The Fan in Colors Cushion. So it uses 14 count Ada in that burlapy type fabric color. There's the colors that are in this kit, which I are I absolutely love. Those are my favorite colors. So I'm looking forward to stitching that up. Will I make a pillow? I don't know. But I think it's really pretty. I love this, even though I think it's going to be a pain in the butt to stitch. I think it's just going to be monotonous. But I think the birds look really neat. So I'm, I, I grabbed that. And then I also ordered three Riolis kits with this, but those are the ones that are on back order. However, I did get a Riolis kit in and I ordered this off of Amazon because I couldn't find it anywhere else. So this is, and uh, this is a kit that I'm super excited about because I absolutely love red pandas. This is uh, the Riolis kit number 1627, the red panda. I don't know if that's what it's called. That's what I'm calling it because that's what it is. And it's predominantly in Russian, so I don't know anything more. But there is the red panda. I'm My favorite animal when I go to the Philadelphia Zoo to look at is the red panda. Unfortunately, the last time I was there, they were sleeping in the building and I couldn't see them. But I love red pandas. And here is the colors that are in that one. So it's on a blue Ada. So this is the 14 count Ada along with the, the, the wool acrylic threads that Riolis is also familiar or famous for. And I'm really looking forward to stitching that one up. So there we go. So that is my red panda. So when those, once those other three kits come in, I will definitely show you those. I'm gonna hold off on telling you what they are until they come because I want it to be a surprise. But I have one more thing I want to talk about today, but I need to bring it down out of the ceiling. So give me one moment. All right, so here is my string of pearls. You can see it growing there. I'm getting a lot of new tendrils. You can see from all of the different places that are like right here, all the new baby pearls that are coming. So I've been thinking about it and how I, I initially said I wasn't going to trim off these really long strands of pearls, I think I'm going to. So, because I'm going to trim those off, I really don't need them for this plant and I don't want a second string of pearls plant. So, I'm going to give them to you. So if you are interested in giving, getting a piece of string of pearls that you can propagate for your own house, this is the giveaway for you. Now, here's the thing. I can only ship plants in the United States. I'm really not sure what the rules are as far as shipping uh, live plants outside of the US and I don't wanna have to deal with that. So unfortunately, this giveaway is only for US residents. So if you are a U.S. resident and you're interested in trying your hand at some string of pearls, I'm probably going to, I'm going to pick two names for this giveaway. So you will get, and how, this will, how, how you uh, propagate string of pearls is that once I cut it off, I will package it up and send it in a, packet, uh, a padded mailer, most likely. All you'll have to do is because it's been it would sit out for a couple days it will be ready to plant and all you have to do is take some soil you can take uh, poke it into the soil wrap the pearls around the top of the soil and they will root themselves it's that simple put it in some sunlight and water and there you go that's all you have to do so if you are interested in a, 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 some string of pearls all I want you to do is tell me Use the word pearl in your in your uh, in your comment. So use the word pearl. You know, maybe you like strings. Maybe you like to wear pearls. Maybe you like the plant, and you know how. Uh, so 
anything using the word pearl, P-E-A-R-L, pearl, not knitting pearl, but pearls like what you wear, and I will pull some winners. So I'm going to give you until December 31st to enter because I don't want to ship these until after the start of the year when the Christmas shipping hype has died down. So that way it doesn't take too long to get to the, the recipient. So you have until December 31st to, uh, to comment it below if you're interested. Again, it's a giveaway. So all the regular giveaway rules apply. Unfortunately, it can only be the United States. So anybody uh, that's in the United States, if you're interested in string of pearls, go ahead and give an answer and uh, enter. And you will get a couple strands of pearls. Now, I forgot, I do have one more thing I wanna talk about, so bear with me while I hang this back up. Last thing I wanna talk about real quick, and this is just a plug for a, a friend's business. Today at work, I got a mask laid on my desk for me. This is a, a mask that I picked for winning a prize at work. My boss, our principal, his wife, is the sewer of these masks. They don't know I'm talking about this on here, but I looked at this mask and I haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet because I wanted to show you first. That mask is probably one of the nicest masks I've, I've seen. She has an Etsy store. I'm going to link her Etsy store below. If you're interested in finding some nice masks, they have the nice, uh, this is also the first one I have to have these uh, adjustable ear clasps, which is really exciting for me. So if you're interested in finding some masks right now, I think she has a lot of Christmas seasonal stuff up uh, and some other things. Uh, this is the one I picked because of course it's, it's I, I, I do like plaid. I like the color too. So go check her out. She is a, uh, the, the stitching is impeccable. So just, you know what, I'll just go ahead and pull it out and show you because I'm probably gonna wear it tonight when I go out even though it doesn't match my outfit. And that's always something that I, I need to do. So it's a nice, heavy, uh, stitched up the pattern or fabric. This one has a black liner, which I love because the yellow or the white ones always start to discolor on me. So this one won't show any discoloring and it fits perfectly over my face. So, there you go. If you're interested in some masks you're looking for, you know what, I don't want to sound like a muffle. If you're if you're looking for some new masks for the spring or winter time, uh, go check her out. I even think they're pretty reasonable price. I'm not even sure how much they are, but they're not that expensive. Six dollars a piece maybe, I'm not sure. But if, you know, for handmade, I think it's pretty darn nice. So if you do, uh, buy something from her and I referred you just put it in her in the notes section below that you uh, that Gerald referred you and um, They'll know that I referred you So Gerald G-E-R-A-L-D. So there you go uh, A new mask that I'm really excited for wearing. She even gave me, you know, washing instructions in the packet So exactly how to do it. So very very nice mask Anyways with that I still talked for like 20 minutes. It's nuts. I hope you all have a great night. Happy Flossmas Day 21. I will be back for day 22 tomorrow with some progress this time. I am, I'm, I'm swearing, I am promising I will have some stitching progress tomorrow. Until we see each other tomorrow, happy stitching. And as always, don't forget to always be creative.